Let's take a look at how to set up Google Ads audience segments on a search campaign. So first thing is go to campaigns, select a campaign. I've just selected one from up here. Once I have this campaign selected, I'm going to come over to the audiences, keywords and content section and just click on audiences. So this is going to show us a bunch of different information about audiences like demographics, exclusions, but this audience segments portion is theoretically what you're looking for <laughs> if you're watching this video. And you can come down here and click edit audience segments. There's this table. If you already have some set up, it'll show them in this table here. So you, you kind of have to expand this table in order to see that. Uh, but if we click edit audience segments, normally we're going to do this at the campaign level. Sometimes you might want to do it at the ad group level if you're advertising, you know, different product categories and different things in each ad group. It may be worth it, but in most cases, just do this at the campaign level. Once we click that, it's going to open up this uh, option to add in some audience segments. I typically recommend doing this through the observation uh, option here which is going to just basically give us data about these audience segments. Whereas if we do targeting, it's, it's going to narrow the reach of the campaign to only people who fit the audience segments that we select. This can just be quite a bit risky if, you know, if we don't really know where our ideal customers fit within these audience segments, then restricting our ads to only show on specific audience segments can get us into trouble pretty quickly, right? So this may be something you want to come back and do later once you figure it out exactly, you know, who's who's responding to your ads and who's becoming a customer, etc. cetera. Uh, but this is, in this campaign, we're advertising Phoenix closets. So this is like people who want custom closets installed in their home, that type of thing. So it's kind of interesting that it's going for marital status single, but usually by default, it will provide a whole bunch of recommendations. So like people who are interested in home improvement, bargain hunters, home and garden, home decor enthusiasts, people who, are, you know, have been searching or buying beds and bed frames, et cetera, et cetera. Makes sense, right? We're selling something for in home, and this is all very closely related to home stuff. We could also come over here to browse and look at other specific audience segments like their marital status. So whether they're parents, uh, whether they are single in a relationship, married, right? We can add all these in here. And it again, it's not because we're just observing what's happening with these audiences. It's not going to hurt us to add more. You know, like, even if one of these isn't 100%, we don't think it's 100% in alignment, we can add it in and just see how much of our, uh, you know, how many, how many, like, out of 100 sales, how many are coming from people who are married versus single versus in a relationship? Pretty straightforward. And we might find 99% of our sales are coming from people who are married. Well, okay. <laughs> we might not need to be advertising towards people that are single or in a relationship, right? Which ultimately will just save us some money and get us better results as time goes on. Uh, we can do the same thing with like education status, homeowner status. So probably want to be advertising to homeowners in this case because a renter is usually not going to pay to have the home remodeled, right? So that could be quite helpful. We can look at like the size of company that they're employed by. Tons of different helpful information. Uh, if we go back to browse. We can do like interests and habits. So we have like home and garden. Maybe we want lifestyles and hobbies. Maybe that all looks good. So then we want to go back and check how they've interacted with our business. We don't have any data here yet, but um, we would be able to see that if we had been running these ads for a while. 
and then there are some different audience segments that if you set up you can you can add those in here but that gets a little bit complex so i recommend starting by just you can even search too so stuff relating to home um auto loans business loans personal loans residential properties for rent home security so maybe people who have home security systems will also want and if they have a home theater they might want in a really nice closet they might also be interested in home and garden services right so after we've added these in then we can just go ahead and click save right here and then we're going to want to let the as run for a while and collect some data once that's done we're going to see data showing up here showing us like how many clicks have come from each well it's, this is going to be the total so it's going to be how many clicks and whatever other metric we choose here have come from our target audiences or our observed audiences in general and then on this table we can start to break down like how many conversions are coming from each of these segments what's the cost per conversion how many clicks and impressions are we getting and when we start to find winners we can make adjustments right so like we were seeing the marital status before right like we were talking about maybe we find that a majority of everyone who's purchasing from us or becoming a lead is married so then we might want to increase this bid by a certain amount so like instead of paying ten dollars a click we're willing to pay fifteen dollars a click because this is what's driving all of our sales so we could increase the bid adjustment there and maybe we could decrease this one by like fifty percent so we're not willing to spend a bunch of money on clicks within an audience segment that is not driving results right and of course you want to click save afterwards I'm just exiting out but that will allow us to adjust what we're willing to bid for clicks on you know specific searches from people within a given audience segment and that's kind of how we adjust things as we go along here we can determine what's working what's not and then make adjustments through the bid adjustments so i hope you did find this helpful if there's anything you did have questions about in terms of google ads audience segments don't hesitate to reach out just drop your questions in the comment section down below and i'll be sure to get back to them there look if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with google ads anymore <laughs> then you can always reach out to me uh, my company is missoula seo geek I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google ads for different companies and different industries and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue like this one here and really just see that, you know, this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth. So feel free to reach out. You can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you.